My name is Christy Caudill. I work for Arizona Geological Survey. I work uh, mainly on NGDS, National Geothermal Data Systems Project, which um, was tasked with gathering subsurface data from all over the country. Um, we also have data from Canada and, um, and other partners around the world. We now have almost 5 million data points and we will likely double that number by the end of next year. So that actually requires um, a certain web architecture to make that data accessible um, to everyone. The best way to access it right now is to go to our beta search page, which is search.geothermaldata.org. From there, you can use a keyword search or bounding box to uh, look for specific kinds of data. And there you can actually download Excel files of the data, you can access the web services, and you can also um, access publications that we have in our catalog. So we have data points from data services like well logs, borehole temperatures, aqueous chemistry data, and we also have um, a variety of publications from lots of sources including um, Stanford's geothermal database of um, publications. So with NGDS, we have a centralized catalog that houses metadata um, of all, all of our sources. We have publications metadata, services metadata, maps metadata, and web applications metadata as well. This catalog um, is a sort of central location that all of those different nodes in our system feed into, and in the end, the user can access all of those sources um, using these very simple um, applications. At NGDS, what we've done is built um, a repository that's sort of an outward-looking face, uh, if you will, one of the nodes into the catalog. And you can simply go to that repository. There's a beautiful user interface where you can add your links that will become metadata in the catalog. So when people search the entire catalog, um, your links will be available, whether it be your geologic maps, your web applications, or any other data source that you'd like. It's really that easy to become a part of the system.